Today I'm gonna to show you my chuck wagon chili recipe. You can do this one in your slow cooker. It turns out amazing. Let's get started. The chilies I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna use two of the Arbol, these are hot. Three ounces of the Ancho, three ounces of the Wahilo. We're gonna pull the stems and get the seeds out of them. And one fresh hatch green chili. Got the seeds out of the peppers. Got 10 cloves of garlic, a little bit of oil into the oven on 350 for 15 minutes. Now into your blender, a cup of beef stock and all your garlic and peppers that you roasted in the oven. Lid on and puree. It should look like this when you're done. Here I got two and a half pounds of trimmed and cubed chuck roast and a pound and a half of beef short ribs. So add a little salt and black pepper to this meat and mix it together well. Add a skillet or a pot, whatever you gotta get hot and sear, you need to add a couple tablespoons of oil and then add your meat in in small batches. You just wanna get a sear on it on the outside. I got the meat seared, now I'm gonna add in one large yellow onion. Now about a tablespoon of where's the shower saw. About a tablespoon of my zippy zap, links on the bow for it. The onions have been cooking a few minutes. Gonna add back in our meat, our chili pepper puree. Then I'm gonna make me a spot and add one pound of hot breakfast sausage. I'm gonna cook this through. All the meat's cooked through. Half a tablespoon of cumin, four cups garden fresh tomatoes, 32 ounces of tomato sauce. Now on low heat, just to the simmer, put the lid on for three hours. All right, here it is. That was about three and a half hours. Now it's just time to add the chili beans if you like them. Y'all know I'm making a meal, not a topping. This pinto beans about a half a pound. 